It is hump day and you're with me once again. I am enjoying you every single day. Guys, I've been doing so good. I'm over 40 vlogs. I feel good about it. I don't care if one person watches because I love to talk to the camera and I love to talk to you, whoever you may be watching. Today's video is a little different. I've been riding the bus a lot in the train and so I wanted to talk about the things that I love and hate about the LA Metro. Now let's be clear, I love the LA Metro, the company, the people who do all of the, um, the uh, Los Angeles uh, County Transit Authority, love them. They're doing great things, they're trying to make the city a lot less um, congested. But these things are more so about what irks me when I'm on the bus or on the train, which really, like I said, has nothing to do with the company. It's more so with the environment and the people. So I'm going to start off with the five things that I hate about riding the LA Metro. That's train, bus, or whatever in between. So the first thing I hate, the people. I'm sorry. People get on the bus and they, they act like the bus is their house. If they're not eating or talking loud or acting a fool, I just don't understand it. Why would you get on the bus acting like a fool? Like, I don't get it. So the people are the biggest thing that gets on my nerves. I'm like, just trying to have a pleasant day, but there's always some idiot acting a fool on the bus, no matter where I am. Even, I know people are like, oh, maybe it's only in the bad room. No, it's everywhere in LA. People are always acting a fool on the bus. The second thing I hate about the bus, the smells. <sighs> I don't understand why people go to the gym and then they get on the bus after they're all sweaty and smelly and they just sit next to them. I'm like, no, you can, you take an Uber home or you take a shower at the gym. All these smells, or when people are eating on the bus, you don't eat smelly foods on the bus. Why are you eating boiled eggs on the bus? The thing clearly says no eating or drinking on the bus. Now, I'm okay with the person sipping a drink, you know, having a, a snack, but you can't be eating a full meal. I saw a woman one time eating a whole plate of Chinese food on the bus. I was like, what the? <laughs> it's crazy. The third thing I hate about the LA, <laughs> this is the bus there, the train sometimes. Mostly the bus, the ride. It might be just the LA streets, but let me tell you, sometimes the bus drivers, they drive like they're driving their own car, and it is crazy. Every time I get on a bus, I brace myself before I even like tap the car to, to go back and take a seat. I'm like, oh, let me hold on, because he's about to leave, and it's like being in the Indy 500 sometimes. I love those bus drivers who really get it and get there and get going, but I also think sometimes I'd be like, well, Jesus Christ, like, what is it? Like, why are you driving so fast? <laughs> and the, the fourth thing that I hate about the LA Metro, um, this is a bus again. Um, the stops are at the driver's discretion, apparently. Sometimes drivers, if you see two buses, so I, a lot of times I wait for the second bus if I know they're coming within like five minutes apart because I know everyone's going to clam onto that first bus they get to. So the second bus will be less full and I can take a pleasant seat. But sometimes the bus drivers will literally see the first bus and they'll think, oh, he's going to get all of them. And he'll they'll drive by. And I'm like, no, sir, we need you to stop at every stop because there are so many people trying to get on the bus. We need both these buses. And it happened to me just yesterday. A bus driver just zoomed on back because he saw another. I was like, oh. And the first bus was so full. Like, it was packed. I was like, are you serious, sir? Also, sometimes a bus driver will see you. He'll, you'll be like, hey, can you... Hold on for me, hold on. You'll get right to the door and they will close it and drive off. So I'm like, but that's not all of them, but there are a few who are just like, I am not like going to be courteous at all. And lastly, the fifth thing that I do not enjoy and that I hate, I mean, I shouldn't use the word hate, um, about the LA Metro is that there are not enough trains. We need more trains. Get Get me more trains. I love riding the train. I'll ride that train anywhere. Sometimes I ride the train places, even though it would be easier to just get on the bus and go a different direction. But the trains are fun. I like riding the train. It's like being, you know, in New York without having to deal with all the people. I love the LA Metro. Oh, it's so good. The rail is just fun to me. I like to sit and enjoy. Now, on to the five things I love and like about the LA Metro. First thing, the price. Yes, I love the price of the Metro. People tell me from other states and other places, they'll be like, oh my God, you get to ride the bus for $1.75? Like, yes, they'll be like, oh man, the bus here is like $3.50, $4, the train is this or that. It all works together. That's $1.75 for two hours of transfers to train, to anything. 
to anything in the metro um, area that's one of the buses or the trains or the and I think that's so amazing because I didn't know it at first. I get on, I use my card and I'm like, oh, I have so much money left off. Maybe it doesn't, it doesn't work. But it's two hours of transfers. I love it. And also with this price, I love tap cards. Tap cards are so amazing. You can load them at home. I don't even have to leave my um, house to go load the tap card. Or I can load in one of their mini, mini stations. So I love it so much. Get a tap card, please. Um, the Of course, the second thing I love about the LA Metro is the trains. I love that I can get on a train and go all the way up or all the way down to a whole other seat that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get to in a timely manner and the trains go north south east west and they always go to like places that are like heavily popular places you want to go to that's what i love about the trains i love that they go to the touristy spots because sometimes the touristy spots are where all of the fun stuff are you know i don't like tourists but i do like to go to some of those spots sometimes universal studios like north hollywood long beach like it's fun i love it next <sighs> The thing that I love the most about the LA Metro system is that there are so many buses, you can literally get anywhere. I love it so much. You don't have to worry. I always tell people, like, how did you get there? Like, people who like, I didn't ride the bus before I moved to LA, so people always ask me, like, how are you? How do you get around? How do you get to these places? There is literally a bus on every major street, like every major avenue or whatever they call it, and there are buses and they go everywhere. You can get anywhere in LA by the bus, and if someone tells you you can't, it's because they're an idiot and they don't know how to ride the bus. The next thing, the usability of the LA Metro. I love it. I Like I said, I've never rode the bus before I got here, but when I got tap cards and weekly pass, I was like, let me get on the bus, let me go here, and I do that now. Even today, I'm thinking like, where am I going to go? Because I got this tap card for seven days, and like, I got to go, I got to do, I got to you know, use it to its full extent. So I love that anyone can use it. And I, I think out here, like I see children riding the bus so much more than I'd ever saw anywhere else. Like it's a thing out here. And I always say when people turn their noses up at the bus, I'm like, okay, well, you're not a good person. So move along with your life. And the last thing I love about the LA Metro, which is kind of which goes along with the amount of buses, but the routes. I love that there are many, 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 many routes that you can take to get to those amazing places like I love it there's different routes that will get you to the same places like depending on where you are you could still take a bus and get to the same place the same amount of time you know um, I know people are like you know how to get to Santa Monica you can use the 720 or you can use the Expo line like I like that because you never know I might want to head up north a little bit to Wilshire and then go down <laughs> you guys won't know in these places unless you live in LA but I love it so much so those are my top Five things that I love and that I hate about the LA Metro. And once again, I love the LA Metro, the company, you know, whoever puts all that together and everything. It's more so about just the experience that I'm telling you, my love, my likes and dislikes of it. But overall, I really and truthfully love the LA Metro. I actually apply for jobs for LA Metro all the time. I really want to get into their marketing department. They do such a good job in marketing. If you haven't seen the LA Metro videos for like the train, the like, caution videos i tell you those are some of the best videos ever like they have these little stick people and it's like people basically get hit by the train to get too close don't step over the yellow line that's the video for today i hope you come back and join me tomorrow today i made um breakfast burritos and i wrapped them up it's a video i saw on buzzfeed i know if you can go to buzzfeed you can find about breakfast burritos where you wrap them and you know put them in the freezer and you can pop them out anytime and eat them uh, pop them in the microwave, but I did that today and I prepped a lot of fruit So if you want to see any of the things I did today, you can watch me cut strawberries on my Instagram live Which will be up for 24 hours. I just cut strawberries and listen to Lana Del Rey and it was very fun and I Think I'll do more of cutting fruit and listening to Lana Del Rey. Hmm. That'll be my thing That'll that's what I'll become known for on the internet cutting fruit and listening to Lana Del Rey That's me. That's the person I want to be See you tomorrow. Links are in the description of everything I do. Oh, this week is our 99th episode of the podcast. So we'll talk about it tomorrow, about all the things that will be on the podcast. So until then, I'll see you.